Police in Managua rated 100% noticias, one of Nicaragua's biggest news channels, in December. They confiscated equipment and detained the station owner and journalist Miguel Mora and the lead news anchor Lucia Pineda. Authorities freed the pair this week, six months after jailing them for alleged terrorist acts. Mora says while in prison, he was interrogated more than 30 times and kept in isolation. They put you in this system that is like death. The penitentiary system is corrupt. It's made to break your spirit. Torture is something they use constantly. The fact of putting someone in such a small space and not allowing them more space is torture. Miguel Mora tells VOA he and Pineda may be free, but the future is still uncertain. He says 100% Noticias' main offices are still under state police control, and working as a journalist is still dangerous. It's a life and death situation. They have robbed, beaten, and threatened us. They'd put us in jail. It's a life and death situation for journalists and for everyone in Nicaragua. Pineda and Mona were free, along with 56 political prisoners. The Nicaraguan government has until next week to release 89 others who remain jailed. Pineda says she and her colleagues will work to restore operations at the news channel. We are journalists. We want to continue informing. We want the channel to be returned to our director, Miguel Mora, to reorganize the newsroom. Many of our personnel is out of the country. They fled to Costa Rica and the United States because they were being persecuted. The Nicaraguan government issued a statement claiming the free prisoners had been detained for, quote, crimes against common security and public tranquility. It adds the state is preparing to release others is still being held for the same crimes. Cristina Caicedo Smith, VOA News.